Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this weekend, you will be able to see the Sturgeon Moon, or also known as the Blue Moon, in the sky. And it will appear larger than normal Saturday and Sunday. So this is USA Today, August 19th, 2021. The next full moon will take place this weekend. And August 2021 full moon will be both the sturgeon and a blue moon. So you would be able to see it 8.02 a.m on Sunday and you'll be able to see it Saturday night as well. And like I said, it will appear larger than normal in the sky on either one of these nights. Just look towards the Southeast sky after the sunset to catch a glimpse of the sturgeon moon rising. This is according to the old farmer's almanac. Why is it called the sturgeon moon? August full moon was traditionally called the sturgeon moon because the giant sturgeon of the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain were most readily caught during this time period of summer, the almanac said. Sturgeons are a group of large fish that have been dubbed living fossils because they have remained almost unchanged for more than a hundred million years, Newsweek said. The sturgeons were once found in great abundance, but their population have declined greatly due to overfishing and habitat loss. This is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This is what they said. The full moon names by the Old Farmer's Almanac includes Native American, Colonial American, European sources. It wasn't called that by the it, uh, colonial. Uh, Y'all added that mess in. It wasn't called that by the natives of the land. Get out of here with that. Um, you don't need any equipment to see the full moon but a pair of binoculars will give you an incredible view of the moon's surface. It'll also be a blue moon when there are four full moons in a single season. On this occasion, um, this is the considered the third, and that's a blue moon, according to space.com. The second full moon of the month is another more well-known type of blue moon. It is unlikely to appear blue. However, the blue colored moons in the photo are usually made using special blue camera filters or in a post-processing program. Uh, in other words, Photoshopping. <laughs> we, know, we know what they mean, post-photo processing, but come on, Photoshopping. Just say Photoshop. Okay, but there are rare occasions when the moon does take a bluish hue, CNN reports. 
smoke or dust particles in the atmosphere, such as uh, during a major volcanic eruption, can result in a blue looking moon. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are able to get a glimpse of this over the weekend, if it's not so overcast where you are today, it is very overcast where I am. And that is because Hurricane Henry made landfall in New York. So it did miss us, but it hit New York. And because of that, we got all of the clouds from it. So it is very overcast. It's kind of dark. And this is the way it'll probably appear all day. So those of you that are up in New York, I hope you are all safe. And I know it's supposed to leave New York and head towards New England. So everybody, please stay safe. I hope, um, you know, it will be a fast moving hurricane and it doesn't linger around for a long period of time. And it's not really common for New York to get hit you know, to take a direct hit like this. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.